Hello, church. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Jack Taggart, and I'm an elder here at CCC. And just like all of you, my life has been impacted by the coronavirus. Because of our ages and my health, my wife and I have been self-quarantined for about 12 days. And what I've learned is that being a Christian and being self-quarantined uh, gives you some advantages. First of all, you get more rest. Then you have more time to study the scriptures in depth. And you also have time, more time to spend in prayer and communion with our Lord and our Savior. God tells us in scripture to be still and know that I am God. If there's anything that we need during these tr tr uh, troublesome, anxious, and turbulent times is to know that God is with us. I kept asking God, what is it that you're trying to teach me? In, in Psalm 34.4, God says that he will answer me and deliver me from my fears. And I was fearful. I'm 77 years old. I have cardiovascular disease. And I've read all the horror stories about what this virus can do, not only to the elderly, but to the elderly with pre-existing health conditions. So the first thing I did was I prayed and asked the Lord, what is it that you're trying to teach me? And the clear answer that came back was, trust me completely. Psalm 56, 3 and 4 tells me, when I am afraid, I put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust. I shall not be afraid. What can flesh do to me? And as the Lord said to Isaiah and says to us today in Isaiah 41, 9, and 10. You are my servant. I have chosen you and not cast you off. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And I remembered our study of Romans, when Romans 8.15, Paul, in talking to the Romans and cautioning them, says, For you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you received the spirit of adoption as sons, by, whose, by whom we cry, Abba, Father. I encourage each and every one of you to let those words sink in, to let them permeate your mind and your soul. At least you then never forget that we have a God and a Savior who have promised to never, ever leave us, to hold us in their everlasting arms. And as we walk through this veil of tears we call life, to take each and every step with us and to be there and to help us and strengthen us. And then we can all experience the promise that God, that Jesus made to the disciples and that he makes to us today. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled. Neither let them be afraid. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we have a loving Savior, and he will see us through the turmoil of these times safely to the other side. Thank you.